Part of asset liability management is reducing the earning gap so that changes in interest rates don't wreak havoc on a bank's net interest income. But a bank also wants to reduce its duration gap so that changes in interest rates don't reduce the economic value of the bank's equity. Now, why would that be a problem? Well, fixed rate instruments tend to be more sensitive to changes in interest rates than floating rate instruments. And long-term instruments tend to be more sensitive to changes in interest rates than short-term instruments. So let's say you had a bank where almost all of its financial assets were fixed rate and almost all of its financial liabilities were floating rate. Well, the fixed rate, the assets in that example, would be more sensitive to changes in interest rates than the bank's liabilities. So when interest rates change, that could affect the economic value of equity for that bank. Okay. Now, how do we measure sensitivity? Well, we have this concept called duration. And I've got a couple videos. I show you how to calculate Macaulay duration and modified duration. Uh, don't worry too much about the details right now. Just know that duration is a way of measuring the sensitivity of a financial instrument to changes in interest rates. Okay, So the bank would go ahead and calculate its duration, and it could calculate the duration for its financial assets and its financial liabilities. Now, the bank is going to want to reduce the duration gap, which is the difference between the duration of the financial assets and the duration of the financial liabilities. Okay, It's trying to match it up more, and it's trying to do that so it will reduce the effect that interest rates have on the value of the bank's equity. You don't want to have a situation where the bank's equity is fluctuating wildly in value based on changes in the interest rate.